Hey everyone, Black Magic released DaVinci Resolve 17. It's a major new release with over 300 new features and improvements, including HDR grading tools, redesigned primary color controls, next gen Fairlight audio engine, and support for over 2,000 real time audio tracks, plus dozens and dozens of other time saving tools. And I'm going to show you how to get it up and running on Debian. Let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we need to do is install fake root and Zor ISO. It's easy enough. Sudo apt install. You can see they're currently installed on this box, but you don't have the NVIDIA proprietary drivers installed. We're going to need to edit app sources.list. You'll need to add non-free to your um main Debian repo. You can go ahead and throw contrib on there as well. It won't hurt anything. But once that's added, we'll exit out and we will run install NVIDIA driver, OpenCL, libcuda, and libNVIDIA encode one. That's a lot to download and it's going to take a minute. Now we can head over to the blackmagic.com website to the support tab and download either Studio 17 Beta 1 or the light version, which is free. I have the studio version, so I'm going to go ahead and download that. Then it's off to make resolve dab and getting a copy of 1.40 or whatever the latest version currently is. That'll leave us with these two files in your downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and extract the make resolve dab followed by the DaVinci Resolve Studio 17.0.run. Let's get that closed out. Now we're going to need to open a terminal. I know, don't worry, it's not terribly frightening. Once we have that, let's just do an ls, so we have our .sh and our .run. So we're going to run make resolve dab, multi.sh, DaVinci Resolve Studio, 170b1.run. This is gonna take a minute. But if it's done, and it should be without errors, we'll have there it is, a dev file for DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to install that with a dpackage. Um, dpackage i, DaVinci Resolve, it's the dot .deb. Key in our root password. And again, this is going to take a little bit of time. Now that that's completed, we should be good to go. Let's try it out. See, the icon hasn't updated on my desktop, but it is loading. And if you currently have 16 installed, keep in mind that 17 will override it. They cannot run side by side. And DaVinci takes a moment to load, even on the Threadripper. But these are all my previous uh, projects. Let's go into the LGC Weekly template and see how that um, has come up. That's come up fine. We don't have any issues. We can scrub through in the edit tab let's see this is the cut tab i'm wholly unfamiliar with this um my experience with a cut tab is sometimes i accidentally click on it but it is there and it does appear to function though i can't speak to if it's functioning correctly let's head back over to the edit tab and scrubbing through it's no problem all the audio tracks are there what can we do? Um, I do like the new transitions. I'm just playing around here. But you can kind of preview them. Not kind of, you can preview them. The ones that rely on Fusion, I like that burn. That's neat, isn't it? Um, titles, same deal. You can kind of get an idea of um, what's going on with them. I would say good on that. Heading over to Fusion... Fusion works, nothing terribly new here. We do have everything just laid out with OpenFX tools and the like. You wanted to throw anything in there, you drag it in there, create a bunch of nodes, and uh, get lost in the spaghetti nightmare. It's a fun time, I highly suggest it. Color tab, more of the same. The bars are a little more pretty. All my monochrome stuff there. Um, denoising, color wheels, all the fun stuff. You would normally expect a bunch of new things to go play with, and of course your open effects are where you would expect them to be. Under Fairlight, a lot of work, a 
allegedly has been done to Fairlight. I do my best to avoid it, but it does seem to work. I will say, scrubbing through it with the video enabled is a little more chuggy than it was in 16, but let's just um, drag a plug-in onto it, and yeah, it appears to be working. No problems there, so if you use Fairlight, have fun playing with that, and more with the Deliver tab. Piece of cake. Not much to it, but hey, if you found that helpful, consider helping us out by becoming a patron over at patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Like all of these lovely, beautiful party people.